thank you for joining me today for another little session here, a few minutes of daily manna. And I, I want to talk to you today about a place of refuge, a place that of safety, a place where you can feel comfortable and secure. And I want you to know that place is in Jesus Christ. We're going to look at the Word of God and then just talk about it for just a few minutes because wherever you are today, God is your safe place. You know, have you ever just wanted to go someplace and get away from all the turmoil of today's world? I know I have. I've had a rough week this past week. I've been away from home, wasn't here with my wife, having to work uh, up with my son in another place, and it's been kind of rough. And sometimes I just want to find that special place where I can feel safe, loved, and cared for. And you know, like Psalms 91, it calls it the secret place of the Most High. But my special place, my refuge is from the storms of life. Let's read in Psalms 71 and 1. Here's your scripture for today. In you, O Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. A place of refuge where there is no shame. In this place, Jesus said that he would never leave you or never forsake you. He would not allow the world to put you to shame. A place that lets us hold our head high and proclaim that we are a child of the King of kings and the Lord of lords. That's the place that he's talking about. That place that you can find that, that, that you have the solace, you have the comfort, you have the knowledge of knowing no matter what the world throws at you, you're going to make it through. No matter what the fire, no matter what the flood, no matter what. They're having, they just had a great hurricane come through here and it tore up part of Louisiana and part of Texas and they got great fires burning all over the West Coast from, from Washington down through California. And no matter what, comes, God will see you through. Find that place of refuge of security where you feel safe. All you have to do go find some room where you can close a door and get off all by yourself and open up your heart to Jesus. You'll, you'll feel his warmth. It, it, it's almost like he wraps his arms around you but you feel that warmth of his presence and you're going to find assurance for your soul and for uh, from all, all that would come against you. Alone with God in a secret place. That's what the scripture says, or, or the song says. Alone with God in a secret place. And there's where God will restore you, strengthen you, and give you that love. Oh, just call on him. Just call on him. I remember a, a book I read a number of times, uh, and, and, and uh, it, it told me about how... Uh, how sometimes you can just get to where you just don't know and you're trembling and you're worrying, oh God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? But then you can just take and put yourself alone with God and find out how much He loves you, cares for you, and wants to be with you. Amen. The Holy Spirit will do that. He is the comforter. So today, find that comforter. Let's pray. Father, I thank you that you made a place of safety and refuge that we can go to. We're not talking about a fort or some kind of steel walls or concrete walls. We're talking about a place in the Holy Spirit where we can go to and know that you care, that you, that you love us, and you want to protect us and keep us. God, let us find that place. If for those out there that might be striving and struggling right now, I'm speaking to them. God, I'm speaking to them that they could find that place alone with you in that secret place, serving you, looking to you, praising you, listening for you, and all the cares of this life would melt away, would just be gone. Thank you, Father, for being a refuge to me and all those that love you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining me today. I'll talk to you tomorrow. <music>